guard, police, 44 percent. In 2010, the police had only 18% of the public's trust. If this report is anything to go by, perhaps the popularity of the police is going up. And their current plans to ensure safety on the roads will most likely grow their popularity even more. Traffic accidents is a big challenge to the country. We cannot accept it. But not everyone will be thrilled with these plans, certainly not border border riders whose relationship with the police has never been cordial. Statistics from the Injury Control Center at Mulago Hospital show that close to 50% of all road injuries can be tagged to a border border. Since the year began, over 250 border border cyclists have died in road accidents, while close to 200 border border passengers have suffered the same fate. Even if a little too late, perhaps now is the time to crack down on the errant riders who have often played politics to escape the news. I've already given a directive, no, 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 sorry. And border borders, I, I, I really appeal to you. Beg I read. This business of politicizing everything in Uganda must end. But to remember, sir. But the blame for road accidents cannot be placed on the border borders alone. Police say other institutions should take responsibility too. Like Minister of, of Transport to put their traffic lights, like, like KCCA, like in the city, to put their signage. Internal Affairs Minister Hilary Onek, under whose docket the force falls, called on them to be more vigilant and crack down on leaders who utter sectarian statements that create turmoil in the country. I've not known of any single case of any leader who is arrested because of sectarian statements. But they make so many. They are all over the place, even in radios. 